I think it was quite scary when in the middle of the night we started hearing booming and we didn't know what it was. I mean, we knew what it was. We don't extend it. We don't know what extent it would be. But thank God the Israeli army came through and so far it's quiet and we hope it'll continue like this. I really hope it won't be a big war now. None of us in Israel want a big war. Um, so I hope that's it and I hope Iran will stop now. Um, I imagine it, uh, Israel will respond because, I mean, our whole country was covered in missiles and drones. So uh, what can you do? But we have to stop it somehow. I'm afraid, of course, it's a scary situation. Iran is a big and a powerful country. And we hope the so Israeli army will be able to hold up and do what they have to do. At this point, America is supporting us in England, and I hope it will continue. And uh, we'll have peace in the area. That's all we want. And the hostages will come back safely. I think we've been given license to respond now. I mean, it was a major attack from Iran with I don't know how many hundred uh, drones and missiles and major missiles. So they really, they've given us license to respond. And I, I imagine Israel will respond and may it be over quickly and we can get back to normal life. Yeah, we're very upset. We didn't want the war with Hamas. They attacked us. We don't want the war with Iran. They attack us. We don't want a war with Iran. They, they, somehow they can't accept uh, Jewish people living here. This is our homeland. 